All right, I'm Chris Davis, and this video is part of a series that I'm doing, which is a bunch of basic practices that you can do on your own working toward handstands when you're new to inversions, when you're used to, when you're new to taking weight on your hands. Um, and this is about the entry to the, to the handstand here. And I do recommend that people do three things on a regular basis every day if you can, but more days than not, four days a week or so. Um, the first is stretching the wrist and getting used to that. And the second is a static hold at the wall. And the third is what I'm going to cover here, which is going to be a single leg kick up or something that actually gets you upside down. It doesn't have to be the single leg kick up, but this is probably the most basic entry to a handstand. And this is probably what people tend to try most often and most frequently. It tends to be the most accessible way of coming into the pose. Now, coming up here, keep in mind, you don't have to get yourself up to, up to being upside down and being fully inverted. You're just trying to get used to lifting your body and trying to figure out how to hop this up and get close to that. And initially from here, it's going to be frustrating. And you're going to start swinging your leg up and you're not going to quite lift all the way. It's just going to feel weird and it's going to feel impossible. It does take some time. You have to start to practice this. And then as you do it more often, and as the movement seems a little bit less strange, your head's going to be able to wrap itself around what you're actually doing. And you're going to start to figure out what you need to adjust in a more technical manner, different positioning, different sorts of engagement through the muscles. But you got to start practicing this on a somewhat regular basis before it really starts to set in, especially if you haven't really done anything like this before or taking a lot of weight in your hands or really been upside down all that much. Now, what, it, what this is from here, and I will show you what this actually goes toward to begin. So what you're actually trying to get to the point of doing is having your hands on the floor, pressing your palms, dig your fingertips in the floor, so keep your hands active and gripping. Now one foot's forward, one leg is lifted, and with that lifted leg, you want to straighten it out so you're going to lock from the knee. You're going to press into the base foot. Keep the shoulders over the wrist right, right away. You want to start with the arms vertical, and the arms should basically in this position be in this position when you come upside down. So you're not starting from back here and revving up. You're starting from here and pressing down right away. Now, you want to look down at the floor rather than out into the room, and people, people tend to want to look out into the room when they do this. Keep your gaze down. Try to take as little information through your eyeballs as you can so you can actually just feel your body positioning here and let your brain focus on that. So you're going to look down at the floor, grab the mat. Now I've got my left foot down, my right leg's lifted. I'm going to reach through the big toe and lock the knee. So you want to keep the leg straight so we can just swing up. And then when you press off the base foot, reach up to the top leg and you're trying to get this to the wall and get yourself toward vertical as best you can. And you don't necessarily have to hold a handstand here. And I'm assuming if you're doing this exercise, you haven't been able to balance in the middle of the room. Now this is a very common way of coming into the handstand, keep in mind. And once you get used to this, it becomes easier to lift your hips and stack everything over the, from the wrists to the shoulders, to the hips, to extending your legs toward the ceiling. There's a bunch of different shapes. But when you're just trying to get to vertical, that's gonna feel like a hell of a lot. And what usually happens with people is they have the arms set up like this and the whole kick up tends to be more like this kind of thing. And it gets really floppy, keep in mind. Now you have to start to work on the technique for this movement and when you start out, if you're having trouble just, just lifting your hips at all, keep in mind, I'll show you another way to come into this that gives you a little bit of momentum. But what you want to pay attention to is pressing down, uh, down from the, pressing up from the floor. So you're pressing your hands down. Now keep the hands pressed down. Dig down to the fingertips with your base foot. Get used to this for the moment here. Extend the top leg. Really reach along through the foot. Keep your hips squared. So you're not lifting the hip up. You're not kicking toward the ceiling, keep in mind. You're letting your legs swing. And then as your leg lifts, you're going you're to reach it toward the ceiling as much as you can. Now, you need to do this with some bracing through your core. So keep your belly pulled in. And especially if you're somebody with a very flexible low back, the tendency is going to be to open up your chest, arch your spine, and then your butt will come toward the wall. And you have this huge curve through your spine here, which isn't really a problem for me because I'm not that flexible in my low back, but it's very common. So you have to actually keep a little bit of tension in here. Try to exhale. So you're pulling your belly in and keeping that tense. Now, when you come into this, just to practice this a little bit, press your hands down, dig your fingers, tips into the floor. The base foot stays down, the top leg's lifted and straight, and just pump off that base foot, keeping your shoulders over wrists and pressing down. You should already feel yourself leaning forward a little bit. And then just take it as best you can. Go ahead and switch legs back and forth. From here, I'm going to press my left foot and come up, and then go ahead and bring it down, and then go switch it out. So try to work both legs here, just rather than just favoring one. And again, press off the base foot, let your hips lift, and you can come back down. Now the whole time, you want to press your hands into the floor. And I know my, my foot's making a bunch of noise when I'm coming down. And that's because I'm not trying to control the landing here. As you get stronger, you're actually going to be able to press in your hands. Press off that base foot. And then as you come up, keep pressing down. So you can set the foot down lightly without, with as minimal noise as possible. And basically, you're just trying to swing this up. And ideally, at first, don't worry about the technique too much. But keep your arms as, as vertical as you can. Shoulders over wrists, keep pressing down. 
and as much as you can, just to feel this out, try to press off the base foot, bring your foot to the wall, and then go ahead and bring it down. And once you come up to the wall, you can always play around with being upside down. But keep in mind, this is more about figuring out how to get yourself to the point of being upside down rather than just holding the handstand here. And actually to hold that handstand and balance it and, and set your body's vertical takes a good amount of practice all by itself. So this is working one end of getting into a handstand. This is the entry. And then if you work the static hold, holding at the wall, then you're working with the destination, what you're trying to get to. And you're trying to fill in the space in between so you can go from that single leg kick up to actually balancing in a vertical manner. Now, if you're having trouble with that, keep in mind, here's one way to help, to help yourself out. What you can start to do is basically come to more of a lunging shape. And here again, you want to keep that back leg straight as much as you can. You're going to press off your base foot and then the hands come down. Now, you want to make this all one motion as you come down to the floor. And this will give yourself some, give you a little bit of inertia. So pressing hands, just look down and then go ahead, bring yourself forward, swing the leg up and press off the base foot. And then go ahead, bring this back down. And that's a good way to get to basically bypass the whole um, difficulty of actually lifting your hips over your shoulders. So work that as best you can. And I do recommend people do this at least 10 times on each leg, taking this back and forth. And it's a good way to just practice a basic entry toward the handstand. And initially it's just hard. It really is. It, need, it does take a lot of practice and a lot of repetition. And once you start to wrap your head around what your body's actually doing, you're going to be able to fine tune it and make it actually work into something that gets you upside down on a regular basis. And I hope this helps. Thank you very much.